Well, it's a beautiful morning. First week of August. Feels like late August, though. It has that fresher autumn feel. And those of you that live in Warsaw may think that they've redesigned the bridge over the cars. But they haven't. Because this is Gunthorpe Bridge. I've come down here for a, a wander. Got to go through here first. It's a lovely morning. Just come for a plod around, see what we can find. It's a nice spot. I'm gonna walk a bit further, but meanwhile, I'll leave you with a scenic view of the bridge. A nice sky this morning. If skies could be monthly, this would have a hint of September about it. But it is a nice view. Breezy today. But it's, it's nice, pleasant. Find somewhere sheltered. Be nice and warm, and that's the way we're heading. Well, we're heading down the path, not down the river, obviously. Can't walk on water, only Brian Clough could do that. A bit arty for me, isn't it? Low angled shot across the water. Ripples reflecting the light in different ways. Okay. Good job you don't pay for a license fee for this rubbish. Otherwise, you'd be asking for your money back. better. Unfortunately one of the downsides of coming to Gunthorpe it's a popular walking spot. I'll try to do a video of the side of the tent walking down the path. Impossible because there's always either someone walking behind you or someone coming towards you. So you come off the beaten path on the eastern side of the gravel pits and there's a big area of long grass which is full of long-winged coneheads and themselves bush crickets and lesser marsh grasshopper at least there's no people This is the main pit here at Gunthorpe. I think there's three. There used to be three. This, this one, and then there was a couple of smaller ones over on the far side, over there, and just the other side of those. It's just cereal fields, and there was a flash that developed there one year. Too big a flash, but by God, it did. You used to be able to drive down from Balkett End and through the farm, and you used to be able to take the fisherman's track down. 
And there's a lot of readers there one particular evening. Bartow Godwitz, if I remember right, Green Shank, and the usual sort of Red Shank, and all sorts of stuff. Very pleasant day today. Not to say that uh, later on, because the high cloud there is the start of the the front, which is approaching from the west. But despite that little bit of a breeze, it's not a cold day. A common turn, just doing the fly pass there. Bit of ornithology for you. And the worrying thing is blackberries are already ripening. You always associate blackberries with being later in the summer. Maybe I'll just remember it that way. But anyway, you could eventually get yourself a bowl full or a punnet full. Although blackberry picking nowadays is something you never see anybody do. It's usually Seems to be down to old couples on a Sunday afternoon where they pull up in the car and nick themselves some of the summer's bounty. Well, they taste nicer than what you buy in Tesco. It's a bit breezy here, so the sound quality might not be so good, but the keen eyed amongst you will notice how the front's made progress. See, with any weather front or low pressure system, you always get high cloud initially. Often it's cirrus cloud. This isn't quite cirrus, it is in parts, I suppose. This is going into alto cumulus. And that builds, thickens, and the lower cloud, how you put the lower cloud there, shows clear form and separation to it, well eventually, and gradually, you just start to see signs of it lower down, but that starts to become formless and almost in one layer, as does the upper cloud becomes formless and just appearing like one sheet of cloud that's usually when you're getting wet so you can see facing south there so the weather system is obviously swinging in from the south and as we swing around to the western sky you lose that high cloud look you get the lower cumulus cloud Wherever the sky is clear blue, you know you're not going to get any rain. You only get rain when you've got associated high cloud. If we swing back round, you'll see the difference. You'll start to see the, the amount of lower clouds increasing a little bit. But it's the higher cloud that you can see clearly. See that edge, top edge to the cloud which is the first sign of the front and then as you look lower down it becomes murkier and greyer there you are that's today's lesson in meteorology I do know some rubbish a scruffy time of the year no don't let anybody dare tell you that May isn't the best month of the year, especially in terms of foliage. Everything is bright and fresh and green and crisp. And by the end of June, really, it's starting to go down. You can't beat May. Autumn, yeah, you get the autumn colours on the trees. And then the grass is looking like this. 
Anyway, just continuing round. Doing a circular walk now around the main pit, which I showed you earlier on. And if you don't think it's autumnal, there's some late summer fruits. By the looks of it, it's going to be a stonking year for blackberries. And I'm going a bit peckish. So I think some might disappear here. And I'll come round and find one of the other pits. And what there is on here, I don't know whether you can see on the surface of the water. They are what's called whirligig beetles, but I've never seen so many ever. The thousands, absolute thousands, and there are a few here. Ah well, they show up. But if you see these first ones. And then just look out, they're starting to come back in now. The surface of the water is covered in thousands and thousands of them. Quite often, you know, you can get a couple of dozen. But I've never seen these numbers before. But all the movement on the surface of the water is through these. One a bit closer, not if we can, if you can see it. Well, we'll go to a couple there, and they're called whirligig beetles, that's the, the common name, because they do just that. If you watch them, they're sort of half submerged, and they'll whirl sort of round and round and in an erratic fashion. Highly metallic, but not colourful. Let's say, I don't know how well you can, it comes out, but the whole of the surface water, it might just be because this is the most sheltered bit, but the whole of the water surface is full, and I've never seen numbers like it. Breeze gradually getting up now, and the sky's filling in. Look, remember your meteorology lesson from earlier? Well, ignore all that. But it's a nice sky, then. There's the view looking east, northeast ish. The other side of the the main pit, swinging around, show you where I've come from. If I keep going around, it looks like I'm on the set of Field of Dreams. And Kevin Costner is suddenly going to walk out of here. One last look. That's looking down the trent. In the far distance, you might just be able to make out Carlton and Gedlin through the trees. I'm looking down towards Burton Joyce. There's been a decent walk. Didn't find anywhere near as much as I'd like. But it's not always about finding things, it's just being out. Rain's on its way. See the difference in the clouds now. So I think it's a walk back to the car. The black headed gull comes through and get a bit of snap. <laughs>